All right, folks, we have some scary news. Ooh. It seems that scientists have been able to breach some cryptographic algorithms with a quantum computer, and that could pose some threat to cryptocurrencies, but there are still a lot of limitations, and I don't think it's a threat, at least not right now. But the researchers did say that it posed a real and substantial threat to encryption. Now, this was from Shanghai University, so I don't think it's actually been peer-reviewed yet, and they could just be tooting their own horn about their discovery. But I don't think they can do a full-scale attack, even if they aren't tooting their own horn. So Chinese researchers, using a quantum computer, claim to have breached the crypto algorithms used in banking and crypto. But I think it's a much more complex algorithm than the ones actually used for cryptography. Shanghai University researchers led by Wang Chao claimed they used a quantum computer produced by Canada's D-Wave system, so they were using a Canadian computer, to breach the algorithms through quantum annealing, which involves searching for the Logos energy state, the Chinese Morning Post reported on October 11th. So the um, algorithm they targeted was called GIFT64, uh, and rectangle algorithms, the foundation for this uh, substitution permutation network structure, which backs the advanced encryption standards AES widely used to encrypt cryptocurrency wallets. So they're going, they say they are uh, targeting cryptocurrency wallets, but uh, they basically only broke one part of it, but that could be somewhat worrying. AES-256 is considered one of the most secure encryption standards available. Researchers say quantum computers may soon be a threat and a breakthrough could severely undermine long-standing password protection mechanisms, but I still think they're at least a few years away. The paper described the quantum annealing technique they used as similar to an artificial intelligence algorithm capable of optimizing solutions on a global scale. Instead of exploring every path, uh, the quantum tunneling involves moving particles passing through the barriers rather than over them, allowing the quantum computer to find the lowest point more efficiently by bypassing ob obstacles that standard methods usually struggle to replicate. This is the first time a real quantum computer has posed a real substantial threat to multiple full-scale SPN structuring algorithms in use today. So basically, um, GIF64 is a rectangle algorithm, which is the foundation for the SPN network, and that is kind of like part of the backbone for the standard encryption uh, for crypto wallets. Now, like I said, they still have several steps to go, and there's a lot of limitations, including computer hardware and computational power, uh, before they can actually break crypto. So it's not that much of a threat yet, but it looks like it's more of a threat now. So basically, despite the advancement, Researchers said limitations would still hamper a full-on quantum attack, and those limitations could take years to actually get past. Uh, because environmental factors, hardware limitations, and the challenge of devising a single, single attack algorithm capable of breaching multiple systems, and each of those parts takes a monumental or Herculean effort to actually get past. At the same time, researchers said quantum computer attack did not reveal the specific passcodes used in the algorithms tested. So basically, they didn't fully crack the code, but they did actually make bigger gains than previously. So it's a step in the right direction that's a threat or wrong direction, whichever way you take it, but it did not actually like crack the codes. Um, and there's several steps and building blocks necessary to get it to actually work and actually crack crypto wallets. But they are one step closer, and uh, they're actually billing it as, you know, we can actually crack crypto, but I still believe that we are somewhat far away. And I think a lot of researchers actually will agree with me, although they say it does actually pose more of a threat now because the other, I guess, discoveries could come much quicker. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.